Hey guys, so uh, recently I came across a comment uh, by a conservative uh, on uh, one of my videos. He didn't really watch much of it. Surprise, surprise. But uh, I wanted to speak today a little bit about my uh, conservative side, which a lot of people really don't see because uh, I agree with, uh, you know, the idea of Social Security. I agree with a lot of just what the Republicans push as liberal spending ideas. Okay. Now, let me show you what the real liberal spending ideas are. And no, this doesn't involve Obamacare. Um, Obamacare pays for itself. Um, you guys will see that in your taxes once you're done signing up for it. So, enjoy. Um, <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, be that as it may. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about where our government really spends its money. Um, and, you know, and this is uh, the, the thing that I have on record here. Uh, now, there's a, there's a place called DrugSense.org, a website online. Um, I encourage you to visit it. They have a drug war clock. Now, um, we spent over... 90, and the clock tells you, you know, how much we've spent on uh, on drug prohibition, uh, actually to the date and to the time that you are, are uh, sitting there. Uh, so uh, the U.S. government spent over $19 billion in 2003, 2003, a rate of about $600 per second, Okay. The budget has since increased by billions of dollars, billions upon billions. Um, and, uh, you know, I encourage you to check their sources. Uh, people uh, arrested for drug offenses this year. Now, keep in mind, when you're arrested, you have to be processed, you have to be housed, you have to be fed, they have to keep the lights on for you, they have to, you know, clean your blankie, they have to give you um, institutional clothing, all these things they pay for, mind you. There are over <laughs> thousands, let's leave it at that. There are thousands of people arrested for uh, drug offenses. 6,714 of those were for cannabis. Now, those incarcerated um, are at least 8,000 this year. Um, and, you know, there's other uh, issues to this too, but I'm just speaking about the numbers. Now, um, I did a Facebook uh, note about this, and the way to save money and the way to get ourselves out of debt is to stop this large government that we've created. Ah, I bet you didn't think you'd hear that one. Well, uh, I'm curious if you even made it to three t minutes and 13 seconds, <laughs> you conservatives, you. But keep an ear out. Uh, so, you know, the, the real issue with our government is that we spend too much time trying to regulate behavior and all this crap, and not enough time caring about each other. Now, I say this because we've completely borrowed out of Social Security to, you know, and, and the reason why we did that is because of the war in Iraq is one. Um, and there are other things that they've been borrowing from our Social Security funds forever. Now, what the Republicans do not understand is that I, myself, and you, yourself, have been, assuming you pay taxes, have been paying um, for those. Uh, you've, been, you've been putting money into, essentially, the, the bank of Social Security. Okay. And everyone, every president down the line since Social Security was created, I'm sure, has borrowed out of that fund. Um, for war, for this, for that, for whatever. They'll come up with whatever reasons. And now basically what they've done, and this is besides taxes now. This is, this is peripheral to taxes. This is your Social Security money. They're taking it. And guess who's never going to see it? That's right. Us. The people. Now, first of all, I want to know where my money went. I, I don't want Social Security to go away because I already put money into that system and I expect my at least my share back. At least. Now, the way to uh, fix a lot of Social Security about these complaints about, you know, all these women with babies and this and that. Look, guys, I'm sorry. The world is not perfect. We're going to have people who are going to milk the system. But the way that we can help prevent that 
is by setting up um, basically timetables, which we would say, well, if you're on welfare, you can only be on welfare for X amount of time um, unless you meet this criteria. Be it, uh, you know, you're a quadriplegic, so we have to give you welfare. Um, you're, uh, you know, in extreme cases, let's physically take care of these people. Um, but, you know, I agree with conservatives in, in the case of, you know, a, a single mother who's just having children so she can collect more welfare. You know, that's that's another issue. Now, at the same time, um, you know, welfare, you don't really get a hell of a lot out of it. Um, I've heard a lot of horror stories. It varies from state to state. And, of course, there's also the work fair, which is even uh, more of a hell-driven uh, thing, uh, which I won't get into. Um, but, you know, I'm just trying to show you that Social Security isn't this big, evil empire that's going to, you know, kill you, man. That's not what it is. What it is is it's a system that you have put your money in. It's a bank that basically they hold on to that money until you retire, you know, or you're el eligible for Social Security. And then, you know, you get your money back. Now, that is the way that I understand, you know, you get your money back in health care, Medicaid, and whatnot, which I'm sure is maybe 50 cents on the dollar by now. Uh, I'm sure it's worse. Anyway, I encourage all of you... Uh, conservatives uh, um, who uh, claim that our government is spending too much money to talk about the war on drugs because the war on drugs and the war on prostitution uh, I suppose the war on immorality which um, uh, you know I hate to bring it to you guys but no whore is gonna stop whoring tomorrow because you made prostitution illegal and she just discovers it and no drug dealer no drug buyer no drug seller is ever going to stop, regardless of the legal status. Now, if you want to talk about gateway drugs, let's talk about gateway drugs. Let's talk about marijuana. Marijuana is not a gateway drug. The only way that it could possibly be a gateway drug, and I've seen studies about marijuana uh, versus crack, um, and, you know, if uh, the, the use of marijuana prior to the use of crack actually changes your addictive side, it doesn't, it turns out. Um, it just turns out that um, the the rats or the mice, uh, I'm pretty sure they were mice, the mice who uh, had taken marijuana prior to their crack use um, had just kind of gotten um, basically over the uh, addictive side a little easier because they had already gone through it with marijuana. Um, anyway, the gateway part is that it's illegal. I, I had trouble with hard drugs, and I did marijuana before I did hard drugs. Now, you have to remember, in a 16-year-old's mind, you're thinking, oh, man, well, fuck, marijuana is just a tree, dude. You know, how bad could heroin be? If they make that illegal and they make prostitution illegal, then, you know, what, what else is left? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in some time, at some point in American history, I'm sure you all know this, fornication was illegal. There were masturbation laws on the books. Why do we give a shit about what people do in their spare time? Other than, you know, not killing other people and whatnot. And we spend money on this. This is where our money goes, to law enforcement, to military, they take our Social Security money, and they spend it on that shit. Is that what you want? Think about it, conservatives. Rate, comment, enjoy.